<sighs> this is a way to start things off. I guess while my character's busy uh, taking care of some d practice dummies, I wanted to make this video as like a personal opinion. As we know in Splatoon, they have a wide variety of guns and weapons that you can use at your disposal that have their own unique abilities and traits. Each one better than the other, or even some of them even good. It just makes me question, how do most people like, choose their weapons? Most often, I just choose my weapons knowing how cool they look or how the design works. But after some time, I realize I should try different methods of being able to acquire the proper skill I need to use each weapon. So, in this case, I devised maybe three methods that actually are effective for figuring out which weapon fits you the most. Or getting more than one weapon used under your skin, like being able to have more than one weapon under your belt. But before that, let's just get out of this range and we'll talk about it. Let's just get back to for the starting point. The starting point idea and concept I wanted to start with is goes with the first part of the list when we had to consider of figuring out what types of weapons. Ever since we left Sheldon's shop, it always makes us the big question. What gives us the idea of going with which weapon that would benefit or even help your teammates in any type of rank match, league, or even a simple game of turf war? So that saying, let's get started with the first method I usually go for. Like I said, before we get started, this is all opinion based. The methods that I use to figure out which weapon suits me for certain cases is I do random stuff. I'm not like, I'm not competitive, or I want to try to be competitive, I can't find a team right now. But if you're like anybody that is a rising competitive person, Please note, some of the stuff is opinion, but some of the stuff can be accurate. But if you have other methods that might actually help you find a weapon you like to use and what benefits your character's playstyle, you can let me know in the comment section. I always love feedback from anybody that wants to. It gives me the idea on how it works. But that I said, let's get to the idea of the multiple weapon systems that I wanted to talk about from earlier. Since I said there was a bunch of variety, I might as well explain. There's hundreds of weapons you can go with than just a simple shooter. As you can see on, as you can see here, there's hundreds. You can go with a simple shooter, or you can go with a Gatlin user. You can be a Brella, a Blaster, Roller, or even a Charger. The sky's the limit on what guns you want to use, but it all depends on how well you use them and which ones attract you the most. It's like kind of like when you when you're trapped into a weapon. It's like trying to attract to a favorite video game or a favorite toy. You want to make sure it fits the right type of business. You want to make sure it fits you exactly. Even though it's maybe your first favorite weapon, or maybe your second, third, or even fourth weapon you want to use, it's useless if you're unable to use it right, and if you and if you're attracted by it. So without that said. We're going to get started with the first section. Since I picked up my weapon and I'm all set to go, let's take it in with the first section and take it into my fit to one of the sections I like, Turf War. Don't say anything, I know it's rank. But when I was recording this, I forgot to set it to turf floor, so this is the footage I got, okay? Throw me a bone. Have mercy on me. So as I stated, taking it to turf floor is maybe the best or even the most effective way of learning a weapon, because basically you'd be able to learn its strengths and weaknesses just by playing it on the fly. Have you heard the saying like when you ever have to learn something, it's always best to learn it sometimes on the fly? Well, this is the idea when you take it in the turf war. It gives you the idea and chance to get some experience on how the weapon functions. Sure, the shooting range is always good, but being able to learn the weapon literally on the fly has to be the greatest thing you can ever do. You should be able to learn as you go. It's not like a simple... You're practicing with dummies, you're actually playing with actual people. I know it's obvious, it's like stating the obvious here. But... 
Before I state anything even further, I want to state this further. Do not try what I'm doing here. Don't take a weapon that you've never had any practice on to rank. The main reason why that I don't want anybody to do this is that you can get a lot of salt if you don't know how to use the weapon. Trust me. I did it before and I had a lot of salt on me. I had like a I have so much salt, I might have had the salt shaker overflowing. You just have to make sure you select her for. Because you can be in a very big trouble if you... You can affect your rank really badly if you play with a weapon you're not used to, like you're seeing right here. I'm still trying to get used to the end zap, and I'm getting my butt handed me some of the times. But the ideal concept is that Turf War gives you just the opportunity to be able to learn the weapon as you get the experience to turf with your friends or even like splat against enemies. It gives you that opportunity to learn new weapons and be able to see if this weapon fits you. It's not going to be automatically guaranteed that it's going to be the best weapon for you. Like for example, I would choose chargers that don't fit me on rank, but they don't fit me at all. Experimentation's always key when you're taking it to turf war. Like every couple of matches, switch a weapon and say, hey, I'll try this one and try again. It's basically each weapon can be drawn to you just by simply mere practice. And after, pra after a long time of practice, you'll be able to fit just when how your playing style works. It's not going to be guaranteed, but it just gives you the opportunity to be able to have a gun that will fit you the most. I know many people may be thinking, Valor, this is not a good state, this is not a good method to learn your weapons. This is more like being able to get your ability shakes or some ability chunks you want. Let me explain first before you be hitting that. The idea I think Sam and Ron might be a good idea to be able to figure out which weapon is best for you in Splatoon is that it'd be able to teach you more methods to learn on a fly on intense situations. Because remember, in ranks such as rank X, you're going to be in a lot of intense scenarios that you're going to be dealing with in a competitive field. So Salmon Run is going to help you get the opportunity to practice weapons that you're not used to, to be able to learn them. Like for example, I wasn't that good with the screw traumatic, but after a while, I started to get used to it after a while for its capabilities after playing a couple of matches once every wave. I started to actually like it because of the fact that how well it is up close and personal. Would I use it? Possibly, because it's very powerful. But I had to teach myself and continue practicing. It just gives you the idea of knowing which weapon can fit you the most by simply playing this game mode. Because each weapon, as I stated, has different varieties and traits that branch each other out. So Stamina Run gives you that great opportunity to learn it on the fly in intense situations and being able to learn it quickly on your feet and seeing if it does fit you the most. Even though the weapons are not going to be all the weapons within the game, but only four of them, it gives you the opportunity to learn at least the four that are there to figure out which one actually you like. If it's not the ones that are in the rotation, then you can try again when another shift comes around. It's kind of dumb with the whole shift idea, but it's understandable because they're making the realism like an actual work shift, which I kind of like. But there is significant payoffs to it. For starters, you'd be able to figure out a weapon that you like just by simply by the rotation. Or the massive payoff you get for working for Grisco. Because remember the ability chunks you get, the new clothing you can get from him. Or even the wide varieties of ability shapes you can get. So grab a friend, grab anybody online, a friend, your brother, anybody in particular. When the rotation happens, Go enjoy yourself for a bit. Enjoy the weapons that are there to figure out which one fits you the most. 
it's not 100% foolproof because of the fact, like I said, you have to make sure the weapons that are in your rotation are the ones you are trying to use. But in the end, it gives you a significant payoff because not only you be able to come out with a weapon you really like, but you'd be able to get a lot of payoffs from Grisco that would give you a lot of payoffs from working his overtime shifts. As you know, he pays me double for the stuff I work for. I need to retire from him. But yet, who wants to retire when you're getting all of this? Now we just made full circle. After we talked about so many things about how we get the weapons, my third and final thing that most people would learn about each weapon is just simply going back to the range. Sheldon made this training range for a reason, and that's being able to test every single weapon type you want to do, as long as your heart's content. Being able to learn new weapons on the fly, not on the fly, but at your own pace. That's one thing that's unique about this training stage along with other ones. This training stage, along with Turf War or Salmon Run, they don't pale the comparison to this. Being able to learn at your own pace in the shooting range gives you just the opportunity you need just to learn each weapon you want to learn. Just at your own pace. I sure as heck like this area a lot because of the fact you just maybe be able to learn my own weapon at any pace I want. I'm not rushed by anybody, it's just me with the training dummies. That kind of actually wraps up on everything. I know it's really short, because we actually showed this earlier in the beginning, but the idea is that everybody has their own preferences on learning how to use many type of weapons that they want to use, but overall, everybody has their own weapon preferences. And other web ways to be able to learn them or be able to use them in competitive play. So without that, I'm gonna get out of here.